Hello everyone. This video for Aten Athena CTF on the Tra hack me. So what we will what we will do this CTF on the CTF is actually guys. This is a really cool CTF. I really like it, especially its privilege escalation. But the uh, foothold is also is really cool. So in this video, we all gonna be learning how the CTF solving with detailed explain it. So this is. Um, difficulty is medium, so that means or this is really hard. Uh, is is could be or the some for people the har uh, hard CTF. If you have no idea what we what will be I doing here, you have to be actually improve yourself um, to more and more. So it's it's take a time to for me it's too much you know it's a really hard room. Alright, anyway, let's get started. So there is nothing before are giving us a hint here, or there is nothing before another things to here before we can actually to be have to be reading here. So we just have to be this IP addresses. You know, this IP addresses has some server, and we have to be hack this server and the privilege escalation here directly. So the first thing is definitely we have to be doing here is mmap scan. So let me using here mmap scan here directly. The first thing for the gathering information about the port and protocol we had to be starting here the mmap scan the other things is definitely go buster or dear buster or v fuse what you want to be doing here so it's it's cool we are definitely here we are just looking for the directory for this ctf directly it's cool we are extension txt php uh, html and javascript curve if you were do that, it's not gonna be working. You have to be know about it. It's not gonna be working. And if you're checking the web server, it's just giving you who is Athena and Athena and Greek methodology or something like that. So you cannot just get in here the another important things to hear. There is nothing for us if you are checking here the controller you for the web page source. It will give you nothing, right? So you just have to be analyzing your MMAP scan and you will see there there is some um, to SMB protocol is open here, so we have to be connection with SMB. So the SMB connection will giving us the some hint here directly. So it's it's uh, maybe take a time for the MMAP schema. I want to be uh, take your time, so we just have to be starting here. SMB client dash L. So what does it mean dash L? It could be here. so the the capital L is meanings. Please do it for listing the shared file here for me is a shell name you know it's the ipc and the dollar sign is mean so for just for the administrator and then the shell name is public and there is no actually the no it's not could be like that it's could be like that it's definitely and there is no permission to here so we can actually doing with this because we're public and uh, we can connection it directly so if you're checking this the command it will definitely giving us the here message for administer txt directly so so time to be getting it or actually color linux but this is not the you know um it's a good <laughs> you know it's this is not the cool uh, directory so we have to be creating some directory for that time so if you're analyzing your mf scan it's not uh, also and there's Real different. So anyway, so if you are cat this, yeah, you know, I mean, so if you read this, <coughs> it just say that I will to like <clears throat> inform you that the new ping system is being developed. I left the corresponding application specific path, which can be accessed through following addresses is my router panel. So. We found in here the router panel, my router panel for the ping panel. So. If you're checking your GoBuster scan, you will see here nothing. But we have a now new web server to for bypassing or you know it's uh, hacking. I don't know. So for the con configuration networks, wireless security and status, it's could be your under. So it's giving us this page under construction. So we just have to be analyzing it over here. So let me checking to what this IP address is. Uh, ping tool is giving us we just ping the PHP we have the ping the PHP here okay style CSS so let me analyze and ping that PHP it's actually giving us a depends for the command I think yes because it's redirected on ping that PHP that's right so for example let me try here 
Oh my god, is that oh it's, it's really the my old code to seeing here really alright guys now important. Okay, so um you can check an error for example at the local hosts, it will give you this message. So you just have to be analyzing with this message, then have to be um the could be very different here. So if you're checking here, for example, in the pink.php, it will be definitely give this um, this code to page source because the pink.php is always changed. But it's have to be some pink.php is um real code here, and we have to be looking into it. So if you are going here, so let me checking my um, map scan. It's not ending. Also, really, oh my gosh. I don't know man anyway so that now we have to be checking here so what we're talking about is could be our ping tool so let me I'm here for a long time all right um, so the another things that we have to be you know with is um, DVAA. If you are looking into DVAA here, OS command injection, OS command injection here. So let me go OS command injection payloads. So you will see there at the DVAA. Um, yes, in the at the DVAA. Let me show you guys how to. Yes, it could be like that definitely. So I just want to be looking into it. So what what is the I have to be uh, show you guy. So the ping for free. So DVAA, the old hackers that were being um, beginning is over there is definitely. So this ping tool, for example, if you're checking it, for example, like a task, it will definitely giving to your fail to execute the ping. So this ping tool is giving you input, so giving you output just for the IP addresses. But it could be our different things to here we have to be analyzing. So we have to be know about it. So let me check in here, for example, it is over there is definitely. So let me use in here is one more time. And then let me give in here like, um, it's cool be like there. So is um, LS ls dash la root ls dash la so we just have to be ls dash la and adapting hacking is here um to be giving answer to here so that means our that could be our different things to here we have to be analyzing so we just have to be giving here this net ip addresses so if you if we are deleting this number and it could be giving us attempt hacking again so let me delete it ls dash la and it's actually giving us attempting hacking hacking message again so what does it mean that means or there is some bad chart list and the pink tool is not one of it into for the to send requested with um, to ISMP or ISMP protocol. So this is the real um, good information for us. This pink is using here ISMP protocol is it's really cool. So that it's it's could be a different the batcher list. It could be curl, but its curl is not into at the batcher. For example, um, to let me use the semicolon is not at the batcher. Um, the and is on the bad chart is definitely, for example, is a slash is not at the bad chart or something like that. So, um, I think the another things we have to be know about if for the CTF, we can actually uh, try to bypassing the this pink tool with the burp seats, and I think it could be our most, you know, is most could be cool. So. You just have to be know about it. It's just working like that, is it? Yeah, you know. <laughs> so let me go to proxy intercept zone is definitely, and then go on my turn on Fox proxy and uh, just giving here this one and the send it. So go to time to repeater and intercept this own and the turn of the Fox proxy is over here. So just we have to be. The try to bypassing is over there definitely. So it will. I think is giving us this 
more um, to information about it. So for example, if you're checking here, this is like that. And then uh, for example, ls-la is gonna be working now. It's just giving us attempt hacking. So it's could be our, um, you know, we have an, we, we have idea as a semicolon is has an attempting hacking. So that means our, it could be on the bad charts list. So the another things is definitely to be have to be analyzing here, guys. So we have to be checking into um, how we can actually um, filter it semicolon without to be checking here not detected attempt attempt hacking message. So it's could be your decoder, right? But you just have to be now here you are working on the web server so we just have to be using here your encoder list or this could be like that uh before it got it yes encoding references here so you can actually check in your what 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 you want to be actually looking into here um your URL encoding reference is over here. So you can actually use it here backspace, tab, line feed, C return. For example, the here the SC um, value is over there. For example, is um semicolon is could be equal to three dash bay. Um is a three bay, right? Is a three B array. So let me add this for it is could be giving us attempt hacking again. All right, so we can try another things to hear. Mm. So it's and right? It's could be with and. So let me check in here. And is with like that. I think it's not gonna be working again. But let me try. We cannot. No, is attempt hacking. Yeah, they can analyzing the same. Anyway. If you are choosing here the different values, not could be or definitely A, B, C, D. You just have to be trying to hear different um, the method with 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 uh, with encoding at the URL, and you will see there. For example, that I'm using your backspace or the tab and the line fit. So let me using here the line fit here, and if you are using the line fit here, you will definitely see in here. So let me send it. Yeah, we have, we waiting her. Yes, guy. So we got here to bypassing this CMD shell again with this command. With what this command is, this command is just with this line fit URL encoding. So it's it's actually is definitely with this URL encoded. So uh, it's could be or take it too many. I think is there is a too many. Um, you know, there is a too many method you can bypassing this um to uh you know is a web server or the actual ping tool but i got it first and it's gonna be uh it's gonna be working and if you if you know uh, which one is the other ways please provide the comment i actually really wonder it all right so now we can actually guys to here um to uploading file writing fun and the reading fun file here right so i actually really curious about it so no i don't want to be um deleting it so let me cut the here um ping.php yeah i really wondered how it's gonna be working the ping.php i really curious about it yes to here they are using post method and then the cmd will gonna be working like ping.c4 and then so let me go here yes a path char list is here malicious char array is sam color and then the grab is over there so that's really fine so i think we can actually this is definitely here guy um we can uh, uploading file and run it directly so let me uploading file here so how we can uploading files really is really easy all right so trust me so let me go here the documents and antenna so i already do it before and there is nothing the file we can see it just a reverse shell so let me show you my reverse shell here it's just a reverse shell with uh, with um creating reverse 
shell generator all right so you just have to be go this um url you go this link and uh just i i just actually did use this command for the reverse shell guys okay so this is this is actually my shell file it's, it's not shell file you know it's a bash file so we just have to be uploading this bash file because of the getting reverse shell here directly and then to run it at uh, um time to be could be a privilege escalation so this is why i'm talking about why so the first of all is if what what port if you're choosing here for example i choosing here 44 you just have to be starting here ancat listener so with this ancat dash mvlp 44 44 here and it is definitely if you want to be um transferring file you just have to be using here python 3 dash m http server is definitely so this is not going to be working we got in here now it's a your m map scan is a 22 port is open so we can get in shell to here with ssh at the 2020 port so it doesn't matter so let me go here so we are so wait a minute what's our um the shell file name is bash file name is cat is river rev, dot shell right so that's correct so let me um starting my http server for transferring file um so let me go there and then starting here curl and then your ip address definitely um and um this could be like that in the, we are because you know it's listening on the 80,000 port and the or file name is reverse that shell and then dash could be uh, output will be um, equal to dash dash output and then the other things I want to be uh, actually show you here if you have an, a bash file and you want to be uploading at this with the web server you have to be using here developer and S S H M uh, directory here direct so let me using here and the reverse that shell here directly so is it correct i think is so let me using it so we just have to be understanding with this here yes the or response code is 200 here but i don't want i don't want to be actually sure about it i have to be sure about it so let me say here ls dash la developer and then s as hnm um the reverse dot shell if it's there is something file like that reverse dot shell if it's if it is we can actually run it yes there is um reverse dot shell is over here that is correct nice guy so time to be privileged no it's not privilege collision it's time to be getting shell here with this uh reverse shell uh the bash file so let me say bash at the developer is a chain and then reverse the shell file here and if you're send it you will see on your ankle listener you got a shell here we got in shell here guys so this is really cool all right so let me using here the ls and you know we are on the war double double html and more realtor panel so if you go back to here and you will see here just a ton of gp there or something like that so time to be actually upgrade the shell or um or the verse shell to here python 3.c import we are we have to be importing into it the putty and the putty that spawn um, um the binary bash yes because we have to be upgrading it the binary bash and then it is correct yes it is so time to be exporting into here terminology from shell yes and controller z ctt uh, echo dash fg now we are upgrading our terminal here directly so you know we cannot go in here for example if you go home we can we have a no permission at uh, athena or we have a no permission or ubuntu so we have to be permission at so it's not actually um, able to with limpus dash shell or line anim dash shell we have to be running here piece uh, powershell python 64 so let me go here the cdtmp and then where is my opt file so let me go in my opt file here directly and then starting here ending here so there is my 
PowerShell Python 64.3 tool is over there. So just start in here, Python 3-m HTTP server, and then we have to be transferring this file here directly, widget HTTP 10 uh, You just have to be giving your, your IP address, and then um, at the 80,000 80, port, is it? Yes. So, or tool name is PowerShell Python 64. Yes, it is. Time to be actually uploading it and then execute it and then run it. So we will gonna upgrading our shell to Athena. And the other things to hear is definitely uh, the privilege escalation. It's privilege escalation is really hard, really really hard. All right. So chmod plus x and um, PowerShell Python 64 and then PowerShell Python 64 it. So PowerShell Python 64 tool actually working for us now. All right. So um, then it will giving us those different tools to here. We have to be analyzing. Yes. All right, uh, I started it. Yes, the binder bash Python 3 dash as import putty putty dash spawn binder bash. Yes, that's my that's look like my command. All right, um, reverse the shell. You know, is I'm we finding here binary bash user shell backup the shell. So let me say it binary bash user shell backup backup the shell here. Be funny, and then as binary, I need auto probe. You know, this is um to automatic things where you can actually looking and uh, uh, seeing this all time, is it? Um, it's actually ending for me because I know how we can upgrade my shell to Athena. But if we if we wanna be waiting here, and you will see actually can different things for the upgrade your uh. Yeah, it could be like that. Your um, the backup dash shell is could be like that. You know, it's the backup dash shell or way to be upgrading or shell with uh, Athena. So let me controller C here, and then go to CD user share and uh, backup. Isn't yes backup. So clear. So let me give in here clear. LS and if you are cat read the backup the shell to file to here it will give you different method to here the first thing um, our Athena or, or, or user is gi uh, giving a um, you know it's um creating here backup there's a file and then um, transferring it at the Athena nodes and then you will see there it's actually uh, remove them and then echo backup and complete it. So we just have to be know this is a um, shell file. If we are injected into this file um, to reverse shell, we can actually get the shell here from Athena. Is it? So let me try it. We cannot actually um, to you know is a hide here um, to. For the actually using here the nano for let me go here the backup the shell is definitely and then you just have to be delete all the codes here and then we can actually just um, inject it into it this um, backup the shell file um, reverse shell at the here so you can actually use what you've used before so let me using it but you can actually changing your port if you if you want so let me changing it's actually don't need it but if you want to be changing you can change it so the before is save it let me start in here for the 445 and cal listener at my color linux again and controller o enter controller x and then you will see there if you are checking here cat backup the shell the backup the shell is changing and then now it's just working on on this IP addresses and on this port 
for getting shell to here and if you're taking really short time to here you just have to be waiting it for how to be getting shell to here with the backup that shell it's could be like that so why I'm not getting shell no let me give it give my give my shell no what Yes, we can get a shell here guys from Athena. For you, if you are saying your ID, we are now Athena. So if you are got our CD home LS and CD Athena, you will see there your user.txt directly. So that means we can actually uh, upgrading or um, shell again for, for like using like a shell. So the first thing you just have to be starting here Python command Python 3 import um, putty putty dot spawn binary bash here yes and the other things you just have to be starting export your terminology with xterm all right and then just starting here controller s and then cttrl echo dash fg and now you can use it like your shell to here this reverse shell and all right so now it's time to be privilege escalation we got user flag here directly but i don't want to be show you definitely and it's time to be um, the privilege escalation. This privilege escalation part is really hard, but the privilege escalation command is really easy. You just have to be starting here sudo dash l sudo dash l, and then you will see there is the for user Athena main array following out router panel, but the root can run this user as binary instant at this secret venom.co file here so this is really easy to way how we can privilege escalation but the privilege escalation way is really hard to hear so you just have to be go me and t and then go there secret right so you know there's a venom.co file is already there we just have to be analyzing it and how we can analyze it is actually is um to able to it starting here http server and then for transferring this file to or um color linux so let me using your widget http and then it's the clear definitely you have to be give this as ip address on this port and then let me using here when i'm the call file rest like that so we are actually have here when i'm the call file and then what is the code file and how we can actually analyze it I actually want to be actually um, say you guys I actually not I'm not good at the analyzing code file with ghidra or something like that but this you know I always using chat GPT for analyzing some file to here so you can actually use in here um, yes you can use and cure the um the chat gpt for analyzing this file but i just know it's something a little bit so uh, and this is um you know for me for solving the ctf so let me show you my skills to here how we can analyzing it it's called your with ghidra and you can run it ghidra on your um Kali Linux, but I want to be show you how we can uh, decompile the, this file on the online because I love the online file. So let me use here decompile online. Yeah, decompile explorer is over there. So you just have to be the compiler explorer here. I really like this um, tool. I really like this server. Um, you can use it. So I'm just want to be using ghidra. So I don't want to be using angry binary ninja or hacks race to here So let me go there and then Choosing here one of that call file now. It's time to be it's definitely. What is it? Um, analyzing it so um, 
if you are working about this construction or if you're working about this job you have to be actually analyzing it and give, give your time too many but if you are just copy this and asking chat gpt chat gpt will give you actually guys um is important uh, so it's chat gpt is definitely give you important um variable and value is over there definitely you have to be listed in chat gpt yes this could be like that's cool all right the code you provide appears to be mix of c and assembly code and it seems to be related to kernel level, level programming it contains function and macros that manipulate the linux kernel syscall table perform operations related process and tasks and modify process credential. Here is a brief description of some of the function and concept used in the code. So this is, is a code, for example, is, is invisible. So we can actually, that means our, um, this, is, this is, is invisible or codes. So you can, invisible is over there, for example. You, you can actually analyze it. And then you will see here is invisible variable to here have i war two and the pu war one. So this is something important about the assembly. And if you are done now, you can actually learning it with this Stray hack me room. So we can actually um, giving or um, here to here for understandings is poor or I were but if you go chat GPT it will give you into more information about this so the for example there is um what file do you, you, you are using here for example and then you will see there um, give root for example it's really different for me and then I want to be actually giving here give root file to here yes the give root file is already is over there so and the give root file is giving us so if you are don't understand it just ask this chat gpt you know it's you know it's i know i know it's not cool but if you have no choice to force all like this you can ask this chat gpt i think to give root is um to the chat gpt will explain it detail it what this code for so give root for code file uh, code for the here and um to so different things here you can actually reading it but this is not actually we have to be analyzing it we have to be analyzing it the another things to here for example hack it kill so this uh, the hack it kill it's actually uh, coming your ears like different right so let me go here hack it kill and then it will definitely giving us different things to here i think with the hack of kill so let me go to hack of kill yes it could be like here definitely is hack of kill is too many code to here so let me analyze and hack of kill here directly so let me copy this and then ask the chat gpt it's, it's definitely could be like there so the most important cult is here hack it kill and then they have some hacks decimal is um uh decoding file here decoding value here the another hacks decoding uh, value is over there and then they have this module list yeah they are using here the middle like that but the chat gpt i think will explain us to too many time so the hack it kill function provide appears to be part of kernel code that intercept is kill syscall and perform certain is cig so signing pass it then possible other condition let's break down the function um intercept the kill all right intercept the kill uh, the syscall performs certain actions based on signal uh, pass at the possible other condition let's break down function um, fan free this is like the macro function all right the p is here 
This line saves module previous value to local variable plvar2 and then ivar3 is integral variable the function um, give root yes if the sign here is 0 x 39 it's called give root ah uh, okay so that means hacket kill value and give root value is working together function which appears to escalate privileges and grant root access to current process to here guy so i love chat gpt i love chat gpt so <coughs> this one and this one is for us to take it um to for privilege escalation all right so um the what is this meaning zero x all right so the first one is 0x39 and the second one is 0x um, 3f and then what does it mean I actually have a code so how can I decode uh, and f yes is 57 the first one is equal to 57 no 57 and the second one is um, 63 yeah it's it's really important for me because I'm a mathematician so, so I'm analyzing more um, so which one I have to be using for if sign is equal that check the wither module hidden is not equal to zero if so it modifies the module visibility manipulating listing some way the module hidden is already zero it's apple to here so if you are using here the zero so we can actually um using this with the decoding file for kill the um restructure here right I think it could be able to with this. Um, so let me using here, guys. Let me trying something. So we are on the Atana, right? Now Atana here. This Atana is already there. So we are now venom.call file here. So actually, you 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 can actually start in here sudo dash l one more time. So we are just working on this shell. So why I'm uh, using like that, and then um so let me see sudo so we can run sudo here user as binary input at the venom.call file here directly all right so let me paste it and it's giving us nothing so it's, it's actually giving us something but we cannot see but it's not giving us error so that means that we are on the right way here directly so let me using here ls mode ls mode we are looking old file here with grab um to venom is definitely we are looking for venom so there is no venom file here and the you will see there so there is no venom file here all right so there is no venom file here with this there is no venom file here with this definitely so the first thing um we have to be kill this session uh, with this kill command right so let me go here one more time um if sign is zero um uh, the module hidden is not equal to zero all right so um let me using it as with this kill command and then zero x three f it's equal to um 36 all right dash 36 I don't know am I on the right way and um, is not equal to zero if so modifies the module visibility meeting some way if so is not is, is uh, modifi modifying if, if it's not equal to zero but if we are um, edited to it equal to zero so that I'm using ls mode again yes and um, we creating here when a file so that means we can um, uh, privilege escalation here how is possible is possible to here 
if psi is 0x39, uh, it calls give under dash root function which appears as great privilege and grant root access to current process. So this is, uh, we have to be using here same command, I think. Um, kill time to be dash uh, 57 here directly. And then it's could be like zero. So if I'm gonna say here ID, we are root now. We are root now. Yes, your root txt is over there. I love you, chat GPT. You are my hero. We got this room guys. We got this room. Thank you for watching the video. If you if you know the other way um, to for uh, for example by passing this ping tool or privilege escalation to here, please provide the command. I got this room with you. I'm really really um to happy for, for that and uh, really appreciated for this uh, watching this video and I'll see you again.